Welcome back to Pink or Tarot. My name is Z and this is a general reading for all Capricorns for October 1st through the 8th of 2019. These messages are just general. They may or may not resonate with you. I hope they do resonate with you or help you out in some way. Feel free to like the video, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel if you are already not subscribed. Once you have subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the notification bell so you can get notified each time I upload a video. So Capricorns, let's get into your reading for this week of October 1st through the 8th of 2019. So you guys have the Six of Cups being the first card of your reading. So some of you guys may um, get a visitor, like someone may visit you. This could be a friend or like a family member or someone that you were dealing with um, romantically with the Six of Cups. But this is like someone from your past. So this could have been someone... Um, this could have been like a friend, like from your childhood. But um, for some of you guys, it's like this person could have, um, well, it's like whoever this is that comes back. This could be like a visitor, a family member. Um, this could have you at a nine of swords, like with anxiety. So maybe whatever happened in the past, um, there could have been like some conflict with this person. But it's like, um, for this week, it's like, some of you guys maybe experience some type of anxiety. Um, and maybe like kind of restless. So some of you guys could be losing sleep over this. Um, whatever this is. But for some of you guys, it's like this person may want a new start with you. So this, maybe this person wants to like restart a relationship with you. This is like a new, um a new start like on an emotional level so that could be for some of you guys um so this is like definitely some type of offer whoever this person is that um that comes visit you maybe or it's just like a almost like a pop-up in a sense with this might arise too it's like they pop up fast, but um, as fast as they come, they leave too with this night of rods. So this could be some kind of offer. Maybe that whoever is whoever this is that, that's coming back, they want to make an offer. But it's like um, some of you guys could be like in this hangman position um, for this week. So maybe you guys need to kind of like take some time out to really um reflect on whatever this op whatever this offer is with this hangman some of you guys could be dealing with a pisces or a scorpio could be a water sign or a fire sign but the hangman is like in the middle of your reading so it's like you're in the hangman position over whatever or whoever is coming back so it's like you're in the hangman position and you're trusting your inner guidance, your intuition with this high priestess. Like I said, some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the Pisces with this high priestess card in the, the um, hangman. But it's like whatever this offer is, it's like you really need to take some time out and just trust your intuition. Just like follow your inner guidance with this high priestess card. And so you also have the seven of rods. So some of you guys could be kind of like defensive or just basically like standing your ground for whoever this is that comes in with this offer. So some of you guys could be kind of feeling like defensive. Some of you guys could be doing with a Leo actually with the knight of rods and then the seven of rods. But for some of you guys, it's like you're kind of defensive because this person may want to offer you like a new beginning. So this could be for, like for two different groups. Some of you guys could be dealing with a, a fire sign or a water sign. But it's like this new beginning is trying to be handed to you, but you're kind of like defensive about it. Um, over this like new this new beginning. 
And so you also have the five of rods. So some of you guys could be kind of conflicted when it comes towards like trusting your inner, inter <laughs> your intuition. Cause for some of you guys, you may want like a new start with this person, but I feel like this is just telling you like to trust your intuition with this person when it comes to this person. So yeah, some of you guys could be like kind of conflicted about this situation. So um, at the bottom of the day, we had the Queen of Swords. So some of you guys could be done with the air sign, but I feel like this probably was like someone that you had cut off. So this could be like a friend, a family member, or like a love interest, someone, someone that you were dealing with on a romantic level with this um, Queen of Swords. Some of you guys could have cut this person out. It's like you cut this person off or this person cut you off. But with the Queen of Swords, it's like you need to be very discerning now. Um, the Queen of Swords does not um, move off of emotions. So it's almost like take your emotions out of this situation. And trust your intuition. And be very discerning when this offer comes in or whoever this person is that's coming back. With the Queen of Swords. So, um... For your angel answer card, two cards popped out for you guys. This let go card kept popping out. So maybe you guys need to let this person go or this, you let this person go in the past. And it's like now they want to come back, but you need to trust your intuition. Like trust yourself. Don't listen to anyone else's advice and move off of, move off of logic instead of emotions. It's like the Queen of Swords cuts people off because she knows what's better, you know, what's best for her. So, yeah, some of you guys need to let this person go. Um, it's almost like just leave this person where they're at and just trust that you make the right decision. But always follow your intuition. I mean, when it comes to these tarot readings, it's just like trust your intuition Okay, so Capricorn, that was all of the messages messages that I got for you. Hopefully these messages resonated with someone. Feel free to give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, also, if you want to book a personal reading with me, all you have to do is check the description box below. Send me a quick email. I'll email you right back. And that is all.